going on, guys? Welcome to the Season 8 WR Select Draft on the Xbox side. I'm Harris Rubenstein. With me is uh, a new a new face, a new friend of mine, Guy Cager. Cager, my guy. I don't know most of the people in this year's draft, but hopefully there'll be guys whose names we know uh, by the end of this season. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I, yeah, this draft is, is very top uh, heavy. It's certainly mm-hmm. after you get through this first round, there may be not so many names that people have heard of. Um, but I think that there may be a couple of diamonds in the rough in this okay. crowd. But we'll, we'll see. Um, but certainly, I, I, I don't know that many people are going to be uh, surprised by these first few picks. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I expect that they'll know a couple of these names. And uh, Coach Jay, if you're okay with it, we have the first pick in the draft who uh, should come to no surprise to anyone. He's probably not only the best player in the NBA 2K League, but maybe one of the five to six best 2K players in the world. Uh, the first pick for the LA traffic, I'm not sure if he's playing shooting guard. I'm not sure if he's playing center. I don't know what he's doing, but it is Day Fry, the first pick going to the Los Angeles traffic cager. Uh, why is Dave Fry playing in WR Select, and what position is he actually playing this year? Well, he's he did sign up indeed at uh, center. Uh, whether he ends up there, or excuse me, at power forward. If he ends up there or not uh, is to be said. Um, but I think uh, for those of us that have watched Select over the past few years, know what happens with this first pick and rank teams. teams. Uh, there's usually uh, a very high quality player that goes with this pick. Years past, um, some some may remember it was Eyeball Zay. Um, this year, of course, it's going to be Day Fry. Uh, no surprise to anyone. Uh, But I think this is going to be a great opportunity for some of those lesser known people uh, to get a chance to face off against. I'm not even going to say arguably, but the best player player in the world at this point. Also good for this LA traffic team. They're going to have a lot of players who get to play with day fry and get that, uh, that extra amount of experience. So not a huge first, uh, not a huge surprise here at the first (laughs) pick. Day fry has been dominating on, on Xbox more so than his more natural PlayStation uh, console this year. So definitely excited to see him on this Los Angeles traffic team. Uh, second pick, Coach J, is, is also in. Uh, the Kingpins have already decided they are taking point guard Marquise. Uh, he yes. will be drafted as the second overall pick this year. Who is Marquise? Marquise is, he, he won Rising Stars uh, in the past. He is a sharp shooting point guard uh with some eyes uh he's not going you know he's he's not going to overwhelm you with his passing as he describes himself at point guard he's like chris paul so break down the defense and at shooting guard he's more like devin booker because he's going to drop 70 on you mm-hmm. um he went through this combine averaging over 70 percent in both threes and field goal overall uh, while maintaining a high steal percentage with low, you know, relatively low turnover for the amount of games that he played. So he's a very solid pick at number two. The point guard group in this draft is the, the first few point guards that go are going to be the top level. Uh, mm-hmm. Once you get down to that next one, you're going to be, you're going to be having some good players, but they're either, uh, more of a scorer and less of a passer you don't get that complete package is is where we're going to be looking as we get deeper into these rounds with point guards well marquise goes number two to kingpins uh the number three pick by the way we're just gonna roll through these the first round is uh is going pretty fast here uh big trade uh coming out this afternoon nobody really expected this one uh the tsunami decided to retain uh, point guard God saved him. Uh, They've decided to trade him to Torque for the number three overall pick. So God saved him uh, going to the Torque here. Uh, Take me through through this huge move, right? God saved him, as many know, is is a.k.a. Shoddy. Uh, So he was moved to... uh, an early move to get to, to uh, you know, for the tsunami to get their their uh, guy back. 
he was with them last year uh, on their championship run. Um, so I think that they wanted to make sure that they got their, their guy back for another run at it. Um, so I think that that's where that comes out. Um, See, this is why day. this is why we need people to keep consistent names. Just for me, the casuals. Like I need to, I want to know who all these people are year over year. I gotta, I gotta. It's hard to keep track of everybody yep. switches names yep. all the time. It's not to mention there's sixty ICs and and whatever. Man, it's so it's so hard to track in this community. <laughs> uh, the but fourth the the fourth overall pick has been selected as well. It is another point guard. Uh, the Phoenix have selected Louis De Problem. Uh, point guard here. Uh, tell me what you know about Louis. He's another one that that's sort of known. He's been around. Um, he's certainly going to get you buckets uh, throughout the game. Um, you give me a one second, and I'll give you a better idea of what I'm looking at on him. People in the chat saying the screen froze. Yes, we understand. We we are moving through some some slight technical difficulties, but but have no fear. We will continue through uh, with these picks. Uh, but yes, uh, back to you. So yeah, so yeah, so Louis is going to get you a bucket. He's going to find a way to get it for you. Whether it's um, you know he's going to either shoot the three or he's going to move the ball for you. Uh, he's a, he's another one of these sort of in that point guard class of top level. You're going to get what you need out of him, uh, game in and game out. Uh, he's not going to drop seventy on you but he's also not going to give you a D minus run uh, out of that point. It's a solid pick. Louis de problem, the point guard going to the Phoenix. Nice little run on point guards here from two to five. Uh, don't worry guys. We will be doing some, some pick recaps. I know that right now the screen is a little frozen. Third, so I'll, I'll do a small pick or a small recap so far. Number one pick was Dave Fry. Number two pick was Marquise. And the number three pick was God Saved Him. Also known as Shoddy from last year. Sorry. And number four overall was Louis De Problem. Uh, let's go to the fifth pick here. The Archers were on the clock and they took Woody, uh, a center. What do you what do you tell me here about Woody? Woody, now this is one of the guys that I think that everyone should keep their eye on uh, in this draft. He is uh, probably, in my mind, the best overall center in the game uh i think as far as in this draft that's not named day fry okay so he will get you blocks he will get you steals he will get you rebound and he'll score at an efficient pace um if i were to build a team if i were going to be picking with my first you know to get myself a big that's the guy that i want to start in this draft right now i think he's the best the best center uh signed up as center in this draft right now well shout out to gm sniper bgm for the for the great pick there with woody at five uh throws me back to a a former nba 2k league center who's picked at uh five mr pp ballin uh who is uh a quality center uh in the nba 2k league past couple years so he at least shares that with him uh number six pick here the yetis my favorite team name uh, they have selected Big Time, uh, another point guard coming off the board here in the first round. Uh, any experience with Big Time? I think Big Time is a great pick uh, for this team. Uh, seeing, uh, I had some conversations. I'll be, I'll be frank with this GM about this team, uh, and where before I knew I was going to be on this show and doing this uh, about where I thought he should go with his draft and who was going to be left. And I think Big Time is a great guy. I think he he's not one of these guys that's going to force the shot. He's not going to he's going to not dribble out the clock. He's going to find the seam when it's needed, and he's going to take the shot when he's needed. Uh, you know, he's a great floor, floor general, and he plays defense. Matrix in his back. For me, when I look at a lot of these guys, I want to make sure that they're more well rounded. Um, I think that sometimes we get. Uh, point guards that are more focused on the scoring and the passing and they aren't doing as much on the defense this guy's going to get you two steals a game as well as averaging you know 26 points a game and eight eight assists while not turning it over at an incredible rate uh, it's a it's a 
great pick. I'm actually sort of surprised that he slipped, to be perfectly honest. I thought he might have gone at four. Well, he drops all the way to six here. Big time pickup for for the Yetis, who I'm going to call yeah. my team just because I love the fact that we have a, a team named the Yetis. Uh, let's go to the Knights here. Uh, pick seven in the first round. They are going to take point guard Juice. Uh, one of the guys that I've kind of heard of before, uh, I know him just because some people posted his stats, and as you see his combine stats, 32 and 11, three steals a game. Uh, Juice gets picked here. What can you tell me about him? I mean, that what what else can you say other than his than what you just saw there? He's right. he's gonna he's gonna lock you down. He's gonna score on you. Um, he's a handful, uh, and he's certainly one of the sort of more up and coming people that you guys should uh, keep an eye on out there, uh, especially GMs that may be looking to add some people to a BYOT down the line. So. Yeah, uh, he's uh, yet another solid pick. I think this whole first round so far has been solid throughout. I like it. Yeah, a couple, a uh, couple big time prospects. Hopefully, we'll we'll see some of these guys continue to get elevated uh, in the community, especially these first round picks. Uh, you know, you look, the, the guards always need some nice refreshing. So happy to get more and more prospects in. Uh, the flamingos have made their pick. It's the first shooting guard off the board. Uh, trays for days. Uh, love the name as is someone who loves to shoot more threes. Uh, great combine, 34, 6, and 4. Uh, first shooting guard, but is he more of a primary ball handler? I think that I think this team is going to use him in that function. I think this team sees him as their de facto point guard. Uh, think of him in the James Harden role uh, for the Nets. Yeah, there's going to be a secondary ball handler on this team at some point would be my guess but i my belief is that they're going to use him as their as their primary uh ball handler for the most part i like it uh somebody in chat saying trays is a pg i have a listed as a shooting guard but you know primary ball handler secondary ball handler that's really all that matters uh, we got the yeah. Seattle Hedgehogs on the clock here. Outstanding logo. Uh, that is a 15 out of 10 logo. Uh, hopefully their first round pick is as good as their logo is. Uh, they are taking point guard Chef Rapids. Uh, another point guard off the board. That is our one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh point guard already here in the first round. I will be completely honest with everybody about this one. This mm -hmm. one slipped in under the radar. Uh, okay. He he seemed to I couldn't I think I may have seen him in one stream, uh, maybe very early on in the combine, and then he got a couple combines and I think at the very end. So I don't have very much to say on him. Um, I, from what I see of the seven games he played in the combine, I, I put him at a you know a three star maybe, but with this point guard class where it's going after that, there's not very much left to be perfectly honest. I think, mm -hmm. I think that this is the, the, the best that they're going to get. And I think this GM sees something that I haven't seen um, because of what he saw and whatever he saw. In him. So, well, chef rapids goes to the hedgehogs again. I hope this pick is as good as their logo. Cause man, that, that logo is fire. Uh, Tsunami with uh, with the pick here to end the first round. Uh, they are taking another point guard. They are taking a guy named Bank Statements. Uh, fa fantastic name. Uh, is he as good of a player as he is uh, his name? Uh, Bank Statements. What do you got for me here, Mr. Kajic? I believe that he is. I think that this was a, a solid. I mean, this is the what who they got uh, from the shoddy trade. So I, I think that they, this was a, a, a very solid pickup for him. Um, and I think, you know, he's going to, you know, it's a, it's a solid end of the round pick uh, to close it out. That's well, bank, I've got. well, bank statements ends the first round. For the people in the Magic chat who just got down. here, here is your first down, or first round, excuse me. Uh, this is Xbox, Mr. Love Fresh. It is a... Uh, title of the video as well but we appreciate you being here uh our first round la traffic takes day fry kingpins take marquise the torque trade for god saved him the phoenix take louis to problem the archers grab woody the center yetis grab big time 
Knights grab the point guard Juice. Flamingos grab Trace for days. The Hedgehogs gra grab Chef Rapids. And the Tsunami tank bank statements at point guard. And that's your first round. But guess what, guys? We have a second round to go. But before we get into the second round, I just want to remind you guys that the UPA World Championships are in January. Go sign up now. Early bird registration is still here. But if you guys want to be a part of the huge Vegas tournament, 50K on the line, going to be going to be huge, huge, huge event for Pro-Am. If you want to be there, go sign up now. It is all over the UPA Twitter, all over the WR Twitter. It is everywhere. If you haven't been noticing the UPA stuff, then uh, then you're probably living under a rock. So get out out of uh, get out under that rock and go sign up for the UPA World Championships. Let's go to the second round. The tsunami are on the clock, and their pick is in. Uh, they're going with center top talents, uh, Mr. Cager. Uh, any any clues in here about Mr. Top Talents? Uh, I think you know this is yet another good pick. It's it, he's he's a very efficient scorer. Uh, he's not. There's nothing that's good, crazy about his defense or his rebounding. Um, but he's he's a solid pick. He's going to get you two two blocks a game probably. Uh, he's not going to. He's an efficient scorer within the paint, within the arc. Uh, in a, a nice a nice building block in some senses. Nice building block. Well, they got bank statements and top talent here to start the draft. So. A nice little little second round swing for them. Uh, Hedgehogs again. I can't get over this logo. That is a, a an absolute W. Uh, they have taken a power forward here in the second round. They are drafting. I'm not. If I say if I pronounce this wrong, excuse me. Goose, juice. I'm not. I'm not sure. I've never seen G U C E. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Goose. I, I hear it as gooch. Maybe gooch. Maybe, okay. Maybe maybe gooch. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> uh, Gooch, Gooch is going to give you it's going to get you some buckets and he's going to get you some some uh, defensive stops uh, you know he's, he's been around for a little while and I've certainly seen him in and around uh, you know second season of WR for him he was on the traffic uh, two seasons ago so uh, solid, solid. You know, sixty-seven from the three, sixty-nine field goal. Uh -huh. Yeah, the first, yeah. the first power forward off the board. Uh, and ass. speaking of the first position uh, coming off the board, our first small forward has been taken. Uh, the Flamingos are drafting Mike from the two one five to pair with Trey's for days. Uh, I like the name. Uh, I really like the photo with the big spider tat on the on the neck. Uh, what can you tell me about our small forward here? I think this man may be uh, the best small forward uh, lock on the board okay. at this point. Uh, he averaged over three steals a game uh, over an eight-game period while still scoring 23 points and eight, eight uh, assists a game. Uh, I think that he is going to be a, a huge pickup. I think this team that is being built uh, for the Flamingos is going to be a defensive struggle for many teams. I think that is what they are looking at right now. Um, between Trey Days and Mike from the 215, I think that they're going to build a nice little triangle over there. Mike the Bear two one five is in the chat. Uh, congrats to him getting drafted to the Flamingos. Uh, hope you like yeah. the good weather. But, uh, yeah, I'm just kidding. You won't have to move. This isn't the league. Could you imagine? We're moving around for WR Select one day, maybe Monday. will one day we'll have team markets. Uh, the Knights back on the clock here. Uh, they have taken a center. They have taken Poppy El Pinguo. Uh, a guy whose name I've never heard of before. Averaged some pretty good stats. Two-way, three-level score. Averaged 18, 11, and three. Uh, what can you tell me about Poppy getting paired with Juice? Uh, I think that's going to be a nice matchup. I think Poppy will get you uh, a lot of rebounds. Um, I, he is another one of these guys that, unfortunately, I didn't get to get a great look at. Um, I didn't see a lot of him... Uh, in the streams it may have been that i missed him uh which is totally on me 
Uh, some of these guys got in really, really early games uh, before a lot of these streams were up. Um, but I think back. when you when you get a big in there that's going to be grabbing you double digits rebounds every game, it, you're solid. You, you've already got a, a nice leg up uh, on some of these teams. Well, there he goes. Poppy L. Pingwo going to the Knights. Let's keep things moving here. Going to the Yetis. Uh, this is a man I know. This is a man I probably know too well. Uh, another center coming off the board. You guys may know him as a graphic designer. Uh, I know him as a man who is way too tall for his own good. And that, of course, is the man Eyeball Landis uh, joining the Yetis. Um, yeah, his his combine stats are about as bad as his sense of humor. But uh, shout out to my guy Landis getting picked here in the second round. Uh, what 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 is the two K take on Landis, uh, Cager? And don't be intimidated by the fact that we're in a Twitter DM group with him. You know, I, <laughs> I, I, I think I think Landis is a, is a is a solid pick at this point for 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 them. Um, you know, I, I think he's more than than his combine stats show. Um, but I think, you know, that he, he, he went in, he played his combine games and I think he got them done with the idea that he'd probably be drafted on, on, on the name, which sometimes works. I love it, man. Hey, you know what? And just remember, uh, Yetis, if he's terrible, at least he'll be able to make some great social graphics for you. So congrats to Landis <laughs> and congrats to the Yetis for the big pickup. Uh, let's keep things moving here. Uh, the Archers are on the clock. Uh, this one's not a huge surprise. Uh, the GM has picked themselves. Uh, Sniper BGM is going to be playing point guard for them. I don't even know if we need to be spending too much time on this because he's the GM. Got it? Got any quick words? I mean, he was former number one pick. There uh, you go. A daily bucket. I don't, you know, I not not very much else needs to be said. Yeah, you know what? He he he's the one drafting the team, so I can't say I'm too surprised. Uh, I'm a little surprised he took himself in the second round. I don't know. Can you draft the GM on the on a different team? Uh, I think there. I think would that there be something? Some, I think there may have been some uh, background negotiation uh, on I where see. his draft pick, because of the simple fact that he's a uh, first round talent, and whether to give up. Because typically, I believe GMs give up a third round pick for themselves. Mm -hmm. I think they, they said that he may have had to give up more than that. Well, I'll be interested to see how it affects them down the line. Um, uh, Woody and Sniper teaming up here. Let's go to the Phoenix. They've made a pick. Uh, power forward uh, coming off the board. Bucky TC. Uh, what can you tell me about Mr. Bucky? Bucky's going to, you know, he's going to get you some, some rebounds. He's going to get you some some buckets uh i don't really have very much to say about him to be perfectly honest uh, i think his combine stats were you know said what they said i think he's one of these ones that uh you know did what he needed to do uh he's a uh, he's been in select before so he's performed in the past uh, and i believe he'll probably perform again well, I'll be interested to see uh, how many more power forwards come off the board here because some of these teams don't even have centers. Uh, speaking speaking of centers, uh, Kraken off the board here. Uh, Torque is going to pair him with God Saved Him. Uh, also, great logo on Motor City Torque. Whoever designed these logos, give give that man a, a, a raise. Those are some nice, uh, nice logos. Yeah, Kraken, uh, the center, going to Torque. What do you make of him? Uh, I think that that uh, Scotty could be a very lethal, lethal mix. Okay. To be perfectly honest, uh, Kraken uh, is another one of these guys that I don't know that will end up staying at center. Okay. He may he may end up moving around um, because he's a bucket from anywhere on the court at times. So he he certainly could. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up at a at an off guard position. We'll see what happens with Kraken, a multi positional player. Uh, the torque grab Kraken. Let's go to the Kingpins. Uh, another center being taken here, uh, Mr. A Freeze with a threes as an E. 
what do you make of Mr. Freeze getting paired with the number two overall pick, Marquise? Freeze is gonna is a is a very efficient shooter and he's a sniper. Uh, he's gonna you know he's gonna be good on that pick and pop for them at times, and he's gonna be good out of that corner. Yeah, Lux just DM me saying they worked really hard on those T names and logos. And let me tell you, man, they are fire. I'm loving all these. This Kingpins one is is dope as well. Uh, Freeze and Marquise on the same team. They're going to the Kingpins. Uh, let's jump over to LA traffic. I apologize to our uh, our main man, Coach uh, Coach Jay, who's running into the booth tonight. I'm probably running him ragged with how fast we're going, but I'm just trying to trying to get the tempo up here at WR Select Season Eight Draft on Xbox. Uh, the second pick for the uh, LA traffic, they're pairing their big man Day Fry with another big man. Uh, what do you make of Get This Work? He's coming off the board here at the end of the second round. All right, give me one second on this no, one. Uh, you know, he's another one that's, that's solid overall, all around. Um, there's nothing there that is going to blow you away, but he's going to be, he's going to get you, you know, eight to 10 points a game. He's going to get you seven to eight rebounds, four to five assists, maybe, as well as some steals and blocks. Um, and he's going to shoot re relatively efficiently. He's going to give you, uh, he's not going to torch you. He's not going to be shooting 70% every game, but he'll be in the in the high 50s to low 60s. So an efficient, a nice efficient add to that team. I like it. Another uh, another big man to pair with Day Fry. So that's our second round. Uh, going back through it one more time for the people who just got here. Uh, top talent to the Tsunami. Uh, I, I uh, Gooch, Juice, we tried this already. I already forget. <laughs> Power forward going to the Hedgehogs. Uh, the Flamingos get Mike from the 215. The Knights get Poppy El Pinguo. The Eddies grab Landis. The Archers are selecting their GM, so not much to get surprised about. The Phoenix grab Bucky TC. The Torque take Kraken. The Kingpings grab Freeze. And LA Traffic selects Get This Work. So let's move on to the third round now. Uh, LA Traffic back on the clock, and they've already made their pick. Uh, it is J Weave to Icy. Uh, they grabbed their point guard. They grabbed a point guard. Uh, J Weave is gonna is a nice, efficient scorer. He's gonna he's gonna get you some assists. He's not gonna overwhelm you with the assists, and at times can turn the ball over a little bit. Um, but at this point, this there uh, this point you're going to start seeing these point guards that uh, people are giving a little bit more of an opportunity to, uh, to see whether they can uh, sh show these GMs a little bit more than they showed in the, I think. Well, Jay Weave to Icy gets to play point guard to Dave Fry's center. So I'm sure he's thrilled about that one. I mean, yeah, right. Not, not many better people to play center <laughs> for in the world. Uh, let's, let's jump to the Kingpins. They've added a shooting guard, uh, the Malikster. How are we feeling about him? He's, Malikster is a nice. Uh, he's got. He's a nice. You know, he's going to lock you down. He's a good, efficient scorer. Um, that I mean, that that's sort of where where he's at. Nothing that really screamed at me. Sixty percent field goal, 56, 57 from the three. Um, Twenty one plus a game. Looking good, man. Uh, sharing a name with the great original Malik is always risky as a shooting guard, but uh, shouts to shouts to him for taking the swing. I'm, I'm excited to see uh, what he pulls off. Uh, let's go to the third pick here in the third round. Uh, Torque back on the board. Uh, they are grabbing another big man. They are taking Chase down. Uh, who is Chase down? He spells his name with a Q instead of an A. So, Chase question down about another him. Is a is a is a nice center pickup for them. Uh, he's going to get you a double double every game. Um, efficient score. Uh, probably not going to shoot too many threes, um, but he's going to get you a, a block a game, a steal a game, uh, five or so assists, and probably a fifteen fifteen points and rebounds game. So solid across the board. I, I'm actually sort of surprised that he dropped where he did. I thought maybe he would have gone uh, maybe to the Knights 
uh, in the previous round, in this last round, instead of Papa. But we all know that, uh, uh, you know, these teams have ideas and have taken a look at these players themselves. So, uh, Coach Jay, we got Big Banks up on the board. He'll be around later in the third round. But for now, Chase Down getting selected to the Torque. Uh, let's go to the Phoenix here. Uh, no surprise, GM getting taken. It's Mud Academy, the GM. Um, I, I don't know anything about I, him. I don't. I actually don't know anything about him either because well, I didn't even get didn't get to see him play because he's a GM. Well, he's a GM, so we'll be able to see him play uh, in a little bit. So Mud Academy coming off the board here. Let's jump to the Archers. They have taken uh, Jarini 05, a power forward, to play next to Woody. Uh, Jarini is is gonna get you is a is a nice uh defensive uh add to that he's certainly gonna get you some steals uh out of that corner uh and and he can swing pretty well so you know he's good you know it's uh these are the guys that i'd like to see where where they go because there's not there's no stats that they have that are completely overwhelming uh, they're not dropping 20 points a game, um, but they're getting the rebounds and they're getting some steals. So he's he's going to be good out of that corner. Classic power forward pick, sounds like. Uh, yeah. Let's move on to our next pick here for the Yeti. He's already got big time in Landis. They are taking a small forward. They have drafted uh, Soldier Form C4. Uh, only our second designated small forward to come off the board. He calls himself a 3 and D off guard. Uh, he's going to be your, uh, my belief is that they're probably going to run him as their lock. Okay. Uh, but I don't have very much on him either, to be perfectly honest. Uh, he was well, not. That's, that's just fine. Uh, averaging three steals a game should be an okay lock. I'm not too proud yeah. with it. Per- Burke Daniels in the chat hitting him with the yes, sir. He seems pretty happy about this one. Uh, we got the Knights on the clock here next. They've already taken Juice and Papi El Pinguo. Uh, they are simply drafting their GM, I am Suze. So not a, a huge surprise. Uh, shout out to the Orlando Knights. That's going to be their third player selected. We're going to jump over to the Flamingos just because I am Suze was the GM. Uh, for the Flamingos, they have taken BCG Banks, the center. Uh, who is this man? This man uh, is, a, is a nice center. He's going to get them... Excuse me. Sorry. One second. No, you're fine. Uh, he's going to get them uh, a double-double a game. He's going to get them the rebounds that they need. He's also going to be uh, good on the block as far as getting them blocks. As I said earlier, I had a feeling that this team was in the process of building themselves a nice little triangle. And I think that they may believe that this is uh, the final piece to this to this triangle for them so I, I i think that people should be looking out for that defense uh of the uh, flamingos this year oh well, we know that hey don't mess with the flamingo in general man flamingos are nasty creatures so uh, try to stay away from them and try to stay away from this team uh and also stay away from my horrific puns let's go to the hedgehogs nothing really to report here uh the gm trade a has been selected he's gonna operate as one of their guards uh, but the GM pick off the board for the Hedgehogs, which means we get to go to the Tsunami for the last pick in the third round. Uh, they are taking WST Jelly, uh, another big. Uh, what do you make of our guy Jelly? Uh, Jelly's going to get you some rebounds. He's going to get you. He's a good I think. Uh, I think that this team has some chemistry to it that I may not be privy to. Um, I, I think that these guys uh, may know each other a little better than uh, I think they do. Uh, I think that they're building something chemistry-wise over there, but we'll see. Uh, but Jelly is definitely a solid pick for that team. Hey, if you're gonna if you're gonna play in select, you might as well play with your friends. Uh, that's the end of the third round. Let me cover it back for everybody who's joined us. Uh, the Traffic take Jay Weave to Icy. The Kingpins take the Malikster. Torque takes Chase down. The Phoenix select their GM Mud Academy. The Archers take Jarini 05. The Yetis select Soldier Farm 
D4. Uh, the Knights take their GM, I am Seuss. The Flamingos take BCG Banks. The Hedgehogs take their GM, Trade Day. And the Tsunami select WST Jelly, which brings us to the start of the fourth round with the Tsunami back on the clock. And they have already selected someone. They are taking Khalil VE. Uh, it seems like another wing. Uh, what do you got on Khalil? Khalil is going to be it is more of your shark wing. Uh, he's going to get you. He's a nice, efficient scorer. Shoots at a 70% rate out of the uh, corner. Uh, you know, I, my belief is that he may end up being more of a, a wing player rather than uh, your traditional power forward. Maybe may coming up uh, closer to the hash, perhaps. Well, Khalil VE, the two way facilitator, averaged 11 and 5. So he goes to the Tsunami. Let's jump to the Hedgehogs, my favorite logo. Uh, they have selected a shooting guard, a TTE Shadow. Coming off the clock here. Uh, what do you make of Mr. Shadow? Uh, one second again. Get to my notes on this. The Malikster in the chat asking, where did I get picked again? Malikster, you are a proud member of the Kingpins. Congrats. Yes. Ghost in the chat is pretty pumped about Shadow, saying that's my dude. Good for you and your friend. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Ghost. He's, he's gonna give you he's gonna he's a, he's gonna give you uh some nice outside shooting as well as uh, as some as some very good defense. Uh he's one of the you know, he's a four star, uh, is where we had him uh in our ratings, which puts him about you know, second from the top. We only really had one five star uh in this shooting guard class so that puts him in good in, in, in a good stead i think we're going to start seeing some of these sharps come off the board too yeah i think we i think we're about to see a, a run on wings here uh and you yeah. are correct uh the flamingos have selected a sharp they're taking philly two comp uh 12 points a game three steals uh he gets yeah. added on to a team that already has a primary ball handler so he's desig the designated sharp he is the very similar to TTE Shadow uh, in what he's going to give you uh, defense and that and that outside shooting. Billy to comp heading to the Flamingos. Congrats to him and his friends. Uh, let's go to the Knights here. They've made a pick. Uh, another shooting guard off the board. It is Amari four oh one. He's going to the Knights. Uh, who is Amari? Amari's gonna he's gonna give you uh, some nice outside shooting. Um, he could certainly step up his uh, defense a little bit in the steel category, but he's gonna give you he's gonna give you probably 65 percent out of the, uh, off that hash from the game. Mm -hmm. Another sharp, just another sharp coming off the board. Another sharp off the board, and we'll keep up the theme here of sharps coming off the board. The Yetis have taken a sharp of their own. Uh, another one of the TTS guys, uh, TTS Gunna, uh, being taken here for the Yetis. I believe that this is more of their going to view this closer as a sharp lock, but more of a lock. Uh, he certainly is uh, does much better on the defensive end. Average three point. Or four steals, three and a half steals a game, um, but only shot about 45, 50% from the field. 45, 50% from the field. Hopefully he can keep that up. Still, still pretty good as a sharp, but you always want to yeah. continue to get better. Exactly. Going to the archers now. They got a small forward coming into town. J Keith 33. Uh, he'll be taking over the lock position for them. Uh, I'm not surprised with this pick. I think it's a solid pick. I'm actually was a little surprised that he didn't go a little earlier. Uh, I had him as one of the better, uh, locks on the board. Um, but overall a good solid pick for them. He's going to get them, a get them some buckets as well as lock down the other team. That's what you need. Jay Keith in the chat saying, let's get it. Congrats to you, my friend. You are a member of the archers. Let's go to the Phoenix. They are on the clock. They have taken Tez Sixo, a small forward. Uh, 
Tez is a good overall player. Uh, I think he sees himself more of a lock, and I think with that, the build that he has, it's an interesting uh, lock. I think at times he can get beat down the court uh, just due to the general speed of the build that he's on, mm-hmm. but he's going to get you. He's going to shoot well, and he's going to he's going to stay in front of the guy. Uh, in front of his defensive assignment for the, for the most part. It's a good, solid pick. Good, solid pick indeed. Let's keep the fourth round moving here. Uh, you got the torque up now. Uh, they have selected No Love Kenny, a point guard. Uh, kind of late here for a point guard. What can you tell me about this guy? Kenny is, uh, he was in select last year. Uh, he went to, he was actually on the championship team, I believe, last year. Uh, he is a, he's a, great point guard as far as he'll score you buckets uh i think at times he will he can over dribble uh and find himself uh throwing that scary um but i think that as he continues to learn and grow as a point guard he 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 could be he could be one of those uh diamonds that keeps getting the rough shined off of it well, no love Kenny being taken here for the torque. Let's go to the Kingpins. Uh, C4 Savage. Uh, the power forward being taken here. What can you tell me about Mr. Savage? Mr. Savage is gonna is another good solid overall pick. There's nothing there uh, you know that shouted anything, you know, completely exceptional to me, but he's gonna get you, you know, five points a game five rebounds uh, and shooting that 50 to 60, 50 to 55 percent field goal range, but while playing solid defense, uh, he's certainly not going to get burned out of that corner uh, too often. So it's a nice, good, solid pick for them. Yeah, you certainly uh, certainly got to hope he can help out uh, a couple people in the chat happy, especially the C4 guys. Uh, it's number mm-hmm. to LA traffic for the last pick of the fourth round. Uh, it is Cook nine eight seven six the lock. He's he's gonna that's that's exactly what it is. He's he's gonna be the lock on that team. Uh, had a had a okay uh, uh, combine, I believe. Uh, I didn't get to see a lot of him, but uh, certainly there's something that they see there uh, on that team to have him bring him in as their lock. Well, congrats to Cooks9876. Uh, trust the dust, FG is saying five and four. Totally agree. Uh, so let's go over the fourth round before we get into the fifth round. Um, Khalil VE going to the Tsunami. TTE Shadow going to Hedgehogs. Philly 2 Cop to the Flamingos. Amari 401 to the Knights. Uh, TTS Gunna to the Yetis. J Keith TV to the Archers. Tez 6 0 to Phoenix. No love, Kenny, to the Torque, C4 Savage to Kingpins, and Cook 9876 to LA Traffic. And that starts us off here in the fifth round, and the Traffic already have their pick in, and it is Jay Cynical, uh, a guard. Got to be cynical to be cynical. Got to be clinical to be cynical. Uh, I'm a little biased on this man. I, I have to be honest, he was on my BYOT team for post draft last okay. year uh i think cynical is it, is while versatile he can also play at the big is a very good uh point guard in the making and i think that the ability of him being able to work with day fry and the rest of this team including Rankum, on his game is going to be huge i i think he's going to have a, a a big select season uh if he gets the run that's needed well, Jay Sinekill going to L.A. traffic gets to play with Dayfry. Always something fun. Uh, always a gift, especially for these young Pro-Am guys. Oh, yeah. Let's go to the Brooklyn Kingpins here. Uh, they take another guard. Uh, they're taking straight clamp. I, uh, You know, his name sort of says says exactly what, 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 what you expect. I believe that he's probably going to be there. Uh secondary lock um it's gonna get you 15 points a game and five assists 
Um, not turning the ball over at an incredible clip, but he's also not going to flame you out from the outside. Only shot it at about a 45 to 50% clip during the combine. Well, congrats to uh, Straight Clam for getting picked, and also congrats to Jay Cynical in the chat. Uh, the man just got drafted. He gets to go play with Dave Fry. I'm sure he's over the moon. Uh, <laughs> let's let's go to the torque. Uh, they are taking baby boy Jody, uh, the small forward. Uh, I actually don't have very much that I that I have to offer on him. Uh, I think it, you know, as we get later into these rounds, some of these guys I unfortunately didn't get an opportunity to get a good look at. So I don't have very much to say on him. Well, no matter what we have to say for him, congrats to the man uh, exactly. that drafted to the Torque. He gets to go play uh, with God Saved Him, and he's in the chat saying about time I get picked up. Congrats, my friend. Uh, Phoenix are on the board. They have selected a shooting guard. Uh, wreck hip to you. Don't know who this he's is. Gonna, he's going to be there. He's most likely going to be there. Sharp uh, shot at a nice clip during the combine. Uh 71% from three uh, while scoring 16, 15, 17 points a game. It, it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good late round pickup for them. Uh, they, certain, they needed the sharp on that team uh, to add to Louie and uh, Tez 6 0. Ray Kip to you going to the Phoenix. Uh, I'm sure he's, uh, he's thrilled. Uh, let's talk about the archers. They're on the clock here. XXL Pyro, uh, point guard, or just a guard in general, is getting picked up. What do you know about him? He, uh, I think he'll probably end up running off guard. I think he's more suited to the off guard position. Uh, I think he's he's going to shoot well from the outside. Uh, he's one of these point guards that I think uh, needs to work on sort of their eyes a little bit more. Uh, I okay. think that especially, I think this year is especially tough on some of these point guards, to be perfectly honest, with how these lanes are closing and how quickly they're closing. Uh, so I think that there's some hesitancy uh, to let the pass go in some cases. And I think that he's one of these guys that just sort of needs to do a little more work on that. Uh, he had, I mean, he had a two to one turnover assist to turnover ratio i like my starting point guard to be more closer to a two and a half three to one sure. but i think at a shooting at a 60 percent clip from the outside with over with close to 300 attempts he'll be a good secondary secondary ball handler for that team well let's jump to the archers uh they're on the uh the clock oh no sorry we just did the uh the archers let's talk about the yetis uh, Yeti's on the clock here. They have taken uh, one of the Fire Sticks gaming guys. They've taken Trust Dust. Yeah, he's going to be a nice solid uh, inside big for them to uh, take care of uh, the paint. Uh, averaged, you know, th almost four steals a game. Uh, he plays the lanes very well. Uh, I think it's it's a good addition to that team uh, that needed, uh, you know, other than Landis needed another big. Oh, they got one, and he's going to have to deal with Landis on comms, which nobody should ever have to deal with. God bless. Good luck, trust us, dealing with uh, Mr. Landis. Uh, let's go to the Knights. They're on the clock here. They have taken Ed from Philly, uh, probably the easiest uh, gamer tag that I'm going to get all night. Power forward. What do you got from him? Uh, he's he's a good outside shooter. He's going to shoot it at a, probably a 70%, 65%, 70 clip from that corner. Uh, so that is a good solid pick for them. I like it. Let's move on to our next one here. The Flamingos. They have drafted somebody that I actually know. I know this guy because he's in my chat all the time. One of my favorite viewers, uh, twitch.tv slash sports team, a little humble, humble brag here. Forever Quan uh, getting picked. A uh, good buddy of mine. Congrats to him getting selected on the select team. Uh, what do you know about Quan? Uh, Quan was a nice, was a nice sharp, uh, he's a good shooter. Um, I think that, you know, he's going to, he's going to be nice to space that team for space the floor for that team. Uh, you know, if you're going to, if you're going to allow Mike to handle the Mike from two, one, five to handle most of the, uh, lockdown duties, you can let Quan roam around for the, uh, 
you know, outside shooting, which would be a nice, nice mix. They'll space you and then press you. It's going to be an interesting, interesting time for people facing that team this year. I think. Definitely going to be an interesting time. Uh, shout out to Quan for getting picked. Uh, let's jump to the Hedgehogs here. Uh, they have made a pick. Uh, Kobe and you is off the board. Kobe's going to, he's a, he's a good defender. He's going to get you some buckets uh, efficiently. Uh, that's pretty much what I got for, for him about him. Uh, he, he fills their need, uh, seeing as that team has yet to pick up a big until now. Yeah, that's true. That is their first big of the night. So we'll see how their front court defense ends up turning out. Uh, let's jump to the last pick here in the fifth round. Uh, hoodie world season uh, getting drafted by the tsunami. Uh, he is gonna give you. Uh, I actually don't really have very much to say on him. Uh, eight points a game, three rebounds. Uh, I think he's got a little bit more to show, uh, and I think maybe he'll show it during the regular season. Uh, Hoodie with the flu is in the chat. He seems over the moon about this. Uh, congrats, Mr. Hoodie. You are now a member of the Tsunami. That finishes the fifth round. Uh, let me quickly run through it for the people at home. Uh, Jay Cynical goes to LA Traffic. Straight Clamp goes to the Kingpins. Baby Boy Jody goes to the Torque. The Phoenix grab Wreck Hip to you. The Archers grab Pyro. The Eddies take Trust Dust. The Knights get Ed from Philly. The Flamingos draft Forever Quan. The Hedgehogs draft Kobe and you. And the Tsunami grab Hoodie World Season, which leads us back to the start of the sixth round with Tsunami back on the clock. And they have taken Joey So Amy. Uh, This is an interesting pick. I'm wondering whether there was a mistake in the name. Um, oh, he's really? a, yeah, um, uh, is what I'm wondering because, uh, Joey's so wavy, he's gonna, you know, he averaged 60, 60% from three, but I, I actually think he was thinking that he might've gone, uh, in some later rounds, um, but congrats to him. Uh, I think he's in a, it's going to be in a good situation over there with that team. Uh, hopefully they they give him some uh, support and let him let him get some run and learn. Well, one of the other guys who has a similar name to him actually is going off the clock here, and Kobe the problem got it correct. It is Josmic so wavy, uh, so wavy. Uh, very similar name. Is this who you thought they were picking? This is this is who I would have thought would have gone there. Well, there you go. Uh, this is this is uh, in my mind one of the better. Uh, locks left on the board. Um, he was averaging and the uh, sharp lock in, in a sense. He is, he'll play out of the corner. Uh, he'll get you 13, you know, 14, 13, 14 points a game while averaging close to 70% from field goal and three. Um, I, I certainly thought that he was, he would have gone before the other one. But uh, congrats to the Hedgehogs on this pick. I think this is this is going to turn out very well for them. I think so, too. I like his name, Jaws So Wavy. I think that's one of my favorites so far. Uh, let's jump over to the Flamingos. Uh, they're taking another guy with a very easy name to say. They are taking Nugs. Uh, who is Nugs? Nugs is a shark. Pure and simple. I mean, this guy is gonna is gonna light you up from outside. Uh, this is this is another guy that I think um, he you know he plays defense. He he spaces the floor. Um, as I said, I think this team is gonna gonna do some some defensive damage and then make you and then space the floor and kill you with uh, three pointers. So uh, it'll be interesting to see. Nugs joins a team that has a lot of guards on it, so we'll see if he's uh, able to get some time to play this year. Uh, let's go to our next pick here at the Knights. Uh, they have taken center BH Captain Cold. It's a fun name. It's like a superhero yeah. name. Captain exactly. Cold to the rescue. Captain Cold will get you. Uh, will get you your boards. He's going to average close to a double double. Uh, 
and give you, you know, one or two blocks a game. Solid overall uh, for a team that probably needed a, a secondary big uh, to match up with the uh, Juice and uh, the rest of that team. Well, he gets to join Poppy L, Pingo, and Ed from Philly in that back in that front court. So we'll see how he does. Let's go to the Yetis. They have taken a small forward. Talk is cheap, eighty-four. Uh, he is another one that's going to score for you at a sufficient rate. Um, it's not going to turn the ball over a terrible amount, but he's not going to going to get you get you some buckets. But it's a, it's a good late round pick for them. Good late round pick indeed. Let's keep things moving here. Going to the Archers. Uh, they have taken I'm Boards, the power forward. Uh, that is another big man. They already have Jarini and Woody. What do you make of Mr. Boards? Uh, Mr. Boards is more of a floor spacer. So he's going to be giving them more of a sh- shooting from outside. Um while Woody is is banging down down low for them is my belief. Sir, so I'm boards. I like it. Uh, averaging six and six with two assists, he'll be a nice guy off the bench for them. Uh, let's go to Phoenix. Uh, they have taken Zentality. I love the name. Is is what I've got on him. I think the name is great. Uh, <laughs> But that that's as far as I was able to get any sort of look at him. Well, Zentality uh, listed as a power forward. He goes off the board to the Phoenix. Uh, let's jump over to the Torque. Uh, Glockig, uh, power forward, going to the Torque. Uh, he's another one. He's gonna get. He's gonna space the floor for them. Good efficient score. Um. But yeah, scored at a, around a 64, 65% from the three. Yeah, a nice nice floor spacer from that corner. Nice floor spacer from the corner. Doesn't uh, doesn't get much better than that. Let's go to the Kingpins now. Uh, they have a pick in. Uh, they have drafted power forward BB803. Um, one of the TBG guys. Do you know anything about him? I do not. <laughs> Hey, that's I'm okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, as we're getting into later in these rounds, there, these are some of these guys that uh, got their combine games in a little late, I think. Because uh, I did not get a good look at them. Well, excited to see if they can make a name for themselves. So hopefully in the I next know. draft, we recognize oh, them. Exactly. Uh, Open my eyes up for the next one. Let's go to the last pick of round six. Uh, the LA traffic on the clock here. They have taken like that Caron. This is another one, uh, another good big that's going to get you some boards uh, and protect the paint. I think it's, you know, uh, I'm a little surprised that he's actually still here. Um, I thought that maybe he would have gone a little sooner, but uh, good pick. Good pick indeed. Like that, Caron gets to play center under the tutelage of the great day fry. We'll see how the traffic end up playing out here. That's the end of round six. Uh, let's go back through it. Uh, started with the Tsunami taking Joey So Wavy. The Hedgehogs taking Josmic So Wavy. The Flamingos are taking Nugs. The Knights are taking BH Captain Cold. Uh, the Yetis are taking Talk is Cheap. Uh, the Archers are taking I'm Boards. The Phoenix are taking Zentality. The Torque are taking Glockache. The Kingpins are taking TBG BB803. And the LA Traffic are selecting like that Caron, and that brings us to the seventh round and we already got some picks ready to go so buckle your seat belts here comes round seven uh la traffic back on the clock they take a man named carrie potter nine uh, carrie potter nine he was uh, he was uh, in uh select last year as well um he's an efficient outside scorer but that's there's not much else there to be perfectly honest. He's not going to get you a lot of boards. Uh, he'll shoot efficiently at a 65%-ish clip from the corner, but that's that's really all he's going to give you. Well, Carrie Potter, uh, you are not a wizard. Uh, you are a member of the LA Traffic. 
Uh, let's go to the Kingpins here. Uh, they are taking a wing. Uh, problem TG. Yeah. This is another one that, unfortunately, I do not have very much to say about just because I didn't get a great look at him uh, at the uh, in this combine. I mean, it looks like he averaged 6.6.5 points a game uh, and shot at about a 52-53% clip throughout the combine. Uh, you know, it's a it's a it's a late round pick. I I think that some of these GMs are seeing things in these late round picks that I didn't see, uh, and hoping that they can uh, pull some gems out. Problem child is in the chat. He seems pretty amped. Congrats to you, my friend. You are a member of the Kingpins. Uh, let's keep moving here. The Torque are on the board. They are taking center by the name of Load. Uh, I think that this is. Uh, another one of those, as I said earlier, I don't believe Kraken's going to end up at that center position. So I think this is uh, getting themselves another big to have as a reserve. He's he's going to get you some points. He's going to get you, uh, you know, maybe six boards a game. Um, but it just generally... Uh, I think is a, a late round pick as insurance for them. Well, let's jump over to the Phoenix now. They're on the clock. They've taken Denaro Jackson, the shooting guard. Denaro is going to. I actually don't really have very much to say. I hate to say. Denaro Jackson. I like that name. <laughs> I like the name and, and congrats on being able to be in Phoenix. I hear the weather's nice. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, show me something. Make, open my eyes up a little bit is what I would say. <laughs> Prove it to us and we will, we will be ready for you. Uh, let's jump over to the archers here. They are on the clock. They have selected Black Dreams, uh, the shooting guard. He's going to give you some efficient outside shooting. I think this is another uh, sharp pickup for this team uh, to, to give them some extra outside shooting. Uh, I think it's just an, uh, a nice late round pick. Well, Black Dreams goes to the Archers. Uh, let's go to the Yeti now. We're starting to catch up to the picks that are already made. Um, Maniac Season 973 just got taken. He's a wing. Uh, any info on this guy? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're getting Sorry. to the deep rounds here. We're in the late seventh round. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he, he shot it. He, you know, was an efficient field goal scorer to some extent. Uh, he's going to get you uh, some steals. Uh he did average three, you know, almost four steals a game in the combine. So he's certainly gonna gonna get you, you know, he, he could maybe he's gonna be a, a decent lock, but I didn't. There was uh, I didn't get a good look at him. Is, is is what I should really just say. So I didn't get a great look at him. Well, maniac goes to the Yetis. Let's talk about the Knights. Uh, they have drafted ZBKYT. I believe this is another uh, person that they want to take a look at as a lock. Uh, he came off. At, he had three steals a game uh, and shot at a 65% uh, clip in the field goal. So I think that he's he's probably someone that they want to see if they can take turn into a, a secondary or primary lock. If you know, again. I don't he think goes. that he stays. I think that some of these late round picks we got to think may not stay at the position that they're being drafted at. Not not a huge hot take there. I'll, I'll tell you that much. I'm sure we see these I, guys all over the place. That's my feeling. I think that we're not seeing them where they're where these GMs are are predicting them to be. <laughs> Let's go to the Flamingos. Uh, they are taking shooting guard True Belize. Uh, love the name. Yeah, uh, right. he's, he shot at almost an eighty percent clip throughout the combine. I think this is. I think they're viewing him as a sharp. Um, 
and you know he's decent at defense 1.7 uh steals a game i i you know i'm actually i didn't get a good look at him but i'm surprised i didn't in looking at at some of these stats he put up some good numbers in the combine he did indeed uh, did, did, did pretty well. Uh, congrats to him going to the Flamingos. We'll see how much how much time he gets. Uh, that team already has four. Hey, that's the fourth guard they've drafted. Uh, let's go to the yeah. Hedgehogs. They're on the clock here. Two, two picks left in the seventh round. Uh, the Hedgehogs, uh, they have taken Gelati, the point guard. I This is another one. I think this is just a late round pick for them. Thinking... Seeing as they only have one other uh, point guard on the roster, I think it's an insurance pick at this point. Well, let's see if he uh, let's see if he gets any playing time this year. Shout out to the man getting picked. Well, congrats on getting picked, though. Congrats on getting picked. Uh, let's go to the tsunami. Uh, the last pick of the seventh round. They've taken. I don't even know how to say this guy's name. Am I, do I have to? Uh, okay. Bo off the hen is that what it is? Yeah, Bo off the hen. Uh, uh, last pick here in the seventh round. He is gonna get. I think this is your. Uh, they're looking at him as a, a sharp lock, uh, maybe a off the bench sharp lock. He got them. He had a, a decent uh, combine, sixty-five percent from the field. Uh, Three and a half steals a game and eleven points. I think that that they're looking at him as a secondary uh, off the bench sharp block. Well, he gets drafted. Uh, tsunami picking up a bow off the hen. Shout out to my guy Spillboy in the chat. Definitely off the henny. Uh, let's go through the seventh round. Uh, the traffic take carry Potter. The kingpins take problem TG. The torque grab load. The phoenix take Denaro Jackson. The Archers grab Black Dreams. The Yetis take Maniac. The Knights take ZBKYT. The Flamingos take Drew Belize. The Hedgehogs grab Gelati. And the Tsunami take Bo off the Hen. Uh, let's start with our final round of the night. Uh, that will be round eight. And the Tsunami have already made a pick. They have taken VW Bruh. VW Bruh. Been around for a little bit. Uh, he's going to get you probably a double-double. Uh, he's not going to shoot from the outside at all. And mostly a interior big. Uh, I think this team, seeing as they only have one other center on it, this is a, backup, a good backup center to have for this team. Well, he gets drafted to go to the Tsunami. The Hedgehogs are back on the clock here. Uh, they're going to take a guy by the name of Uno, uh, small forward. Or I should say, O-0-0 zero, Uno. Zero Uno. <laughs> I don't have very much to say. Congrats on being drafted by the Hedgehogs. That was my first select draft team as well. Double O Uno gets picked here. Uh, average 7-1 and one, uh, at the small forward position in the combine. We're kind of getting to the... No offense to these players. Definitely the uh, bottom of the barrel, uh, for sure, for the WR Select crew, but that's okay. The eighth yeah. men always matter. Uh, let's exactly. go to the Flamingos. Uh, they have selected uh, Black King TTV, a uh, power forward, and we are now officially caught up on our picks. Uh, what do you make of Mr. Black King TTV? He's going to... He... You know, he's a nice, efficient scorer, 75% from the field during the combine. Uh, two and a half assists a game, maybe a steal a game. I think, you know, uh, I and I don't know that he, I think that he'll be a, a decent pick. He'll probably get some run on that team, but I actually don't really see where he fits. To be perfectly honest, other than the fact that that team needed a power forward, that's very fair. Uh, let's go yeah. to the Knights. They have made another pick. Uh, they have taken another big man. They're taking the Dommy God. Uh, Dommy God will get you. You know, shot efficiently during the combine. Uh, 
like there's not much. I mean, he was not a by any means an overpowered rebounder or scorer within the paint, um, and wasn't killing people as far as blocking it. But you know, congrats on getting drafted. Um, yeah, could start making making some noise now. Dami God gets picked. He's in the chat with an oh my God. I'm sure he is uh, thrilled. He's saying I'm Jokic. Uh, the Yetis are on the clock here. They have made a pick. They are selecting Truly Blicky. This is another one that that is, you know, we're getting laid, laid into these. No offense to anyone, but I didn't get a, a, a good look at him. But congrats. Congrats to these late round guys. Uh, having been one myself, this is... Exciting stuff for you guys. Uh, be able to actually get some rod and uh, competitive pro amp going forward. Uh, congrats to Truly Blicky. Uh, by the way, you mentioned that uh, the Archers were going to have to figure out a way to uh, get their GM as their second pick. Uh, oh, it looked like for a second they were sacrificing the eighth pick then, or their eighth yeah. pick. I don't know if that's happening. We have an empty little block here. Uh, no, they are no. actually being given a pick. Uh, the Big Cat 317 has been drafted. Um, this is, you know, once again, congrats on being drafted. I don't really have very much. Uh, <laughs> you know, was a 6-6 six and six, uh, over the combine. 55% from the field. Uh, but... Seems like he has decent overall numbers, just nothing that screams at you. Nothing, nothing screaming off the board. Good, solid, average overall numbers. Well, the big cat three one seven gets taken by the archers. Let's jump over to the Phoenix. They've made their last pick of the draft. They have selected Lurk the God. Another one. Just don't. As we're getting deeper into this, I, I there. <laughs> There, there are unfortunately, and no offense to these guys, just people that I was not able to see uh, to get enough look at to, to give it a fair enough uh, read on them. So congrats. Uh, you know, make some noise and, and, and make me listen up come next time around. Well, Lurk the God uh, off the board here for Phoenix. Uh, our next pick is coming in as we speak. The Torque are on the board here, and they are drafting Trunks RP, a shooting guard. Mm -hmm. I got nothing. Congrats. <laughs> I got nothing. I Congrats I don't, I to mean, Trunks. Yeah, I mean, uh, looks like he shot 69, almost 70% from the field while scoring nine points, nine, almost 10 points a game. Unfortunately, I think a lot of these guys, as I said earlier, I don't know if some may have missed it, either got their games in really late or really early, um, which made it difficult for me to get a good look at them. Well, Trunks RP gets picked here, going to the Torque, averaged uh, 10 and 3 during the combine. Uh, we only got two picks left here in the WR Select Season 8 draft on Xbox. Let's quickly go through the eighth round while we're waiting. Uh, VW Broad to the Tsunami. Uno to the Hedgehogs. Uh, Flamingos get Black King TTV. The Knights draft Dami God. The Yetis get Truly Blicky. The Archers get Big Cat 317. The Phoenix take Lurk the God. The Torque take Trunks RP. And we have our final pick of the night from the Kingpins. It is Difficult Shots, a point guard. Mm, yeah. I, you know, congrats. Actually, I think that's our second to last pick. Yeah, second to uh, last pick. Second to last pick. Uh, you know, I, I don't really have very much to say. I didn't, it doesn't look like he played many more than his three combine games. My feeling is that this may be another one of the players that enters the draft late that is, that may be known to others that I don't know about. Well, that's okay. He gets drafted nonetheless. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, we've been able to get through all these picks in a pretty quick fashion uh, as the LA Traffic have made their final pick of the night and also the final pick of the entire draft. And it is none other than Liskerville, uh, a point guard 
being taken here as the uh, the last pick in the draft. Congrats to him. Average 20 and 8 in the combine. And that's going to do it today for our draft. Anything anything left uh, for Liskerville? Uh, no, congratulations. As a former uh, Mr. Irrelevant select, uh, congratulations. You have just landed yourself on an unbelievable team. Yeah, this this LA traffic I, team led by maybe the best player in the world, Dave. Fry. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, talk about talk about landing on the best possible situation. That's wild. Uh, yeah, agreed. You know. Well, that's so. gonna do it. That's gonna do it for today's uh, WR Select Xbox Draft. I uh, want to give a shout out to my my co-host mr cager first time we broadcast together i think you did a wonderful job thank you for uh certainly educating me on a lot of